so this jar file given by whom son only so you need to load that son given driver the driver class name is how to load driver here using class dot for name you need to load your driver the driver name is son dot jdbc dot odbc dot jdbc odbc driver first you need to load your driver after loading driver you need to get connection load driver then after get connection how to get connection here connection con equal to there is one class driver manager factory class by using this driver manager factory class get connection method there is one method get connection by using this get connection method you need to pass your url username password information here driver manager dot get connection url jdbc colon odbc colon your data source name you have to pass there my data source is ds your data source name whatever the name we have here the same exact name we have to pass here data source ds along with your username and password my username system password manager so here the same name the same name data source name here also you should configure okay then what it will do your driver manager class will talk with your odbc here it will talk with your odbc odbc will talk with your database and it will give one connection to odbc odbc will give that same connection to java application so now by using that connection what you can do you can execute statements execute statements first you need to load the driver then you need to get the connection after that you can execute your statements which kind of statements we can execute from there if you pass any java statement from here that java statement your api will convert into open database connectivity calls then that open database connectivity calls your database can understand okay this is not for the java applications they designed this is given for databases purpose for databases purpose we given this odbc odbc will do what any calls it can be a .net call it can be a java call it can be a php call it can be a c++ call whatever it is that calls odbc will convert into open database connectivity calls any database which supports odbc they can understand odbc calls here so when i pass data from my java application odbc will do what it will convert that java statements in the form of open database connectivity calls that open database connectivity calls your databases can understand okay all the commercial databases they can understand open database connectivity calls so here i need to execute with statements now java statements so here there are multiple types of statements first you need to create a statement connection dot there is one method create statement. using this create statement you can create a statement object using this statement you can execute your java statements and your odbc will convert that statements into your required sql statement statement dot execute update pass a sql query here but we are we are writing that query where is it in command prompt not we are writing that query in java application so here if i write a query like insert into student 007 values one id name durga okay you need to pass this data in the form of single quotes and email durga at gmail.com finally marks
so from here to here this one is complete sql statement okay so when you call this execute update statement this statement it will pass to odbc so this statement it will directly pass to odbc odbc will take that statement and it will pass that same statement to database then database will do what one by one that records it will include here name email max finally it need to give a response a acknowledgement it need to send which kind of acknowledgement data is inserted or not success or failed that acknowledgement it need to send to database so which acknowledgement it will forward when you try to insert data here how many rows affected by this query how many rows affected here only one single row one row affected so then that one row affected it will pass to odbc then odbc will pass to your jdbc api jdbc will give that response in the form of java understandable format integer so how many rows affected that integer count it will return to us so finally you can print that count system dot out dot println of rows affected equal to plus i how many rows affected by using your query it will print here in this way you can talk with your databases so now how many layers we have here in this type 1 type world there is one java layer the first one is java layer then this java talking with odbc finally odbc talking with database we have three layers and it is useful for standalone okay this one is useful for standalone applications if your database if it is exist in remote machine you can't able to access here why because just you need to enter jdbc colon odbc colon your data source name only you need to enter here compulsory whatever the data source you are going to enter here that data source should be there in same machine okay whatever the data source reference name you are going to give here that should be in same machine let's say if it is in remote machine how i can pass that url here it will accept only data source it will not accept any urls here only data source name only it will accept here okay this part is data source name data source name so this data source name it will accept in same machine okay